Uh, canine officers are an important part of a police force, and one national nonprofit is trying to ensure these working dogs are equipped with bullet and stab protective vests free of charge. Vested interest in canines began in 2009 and has donated more than 5,500 ballistic vests to canine officers nationwide. Because the dogs are oftentimes the first ones sent in in the line of duty and they're in dangerous situations. Um, you know, many times you don't think a situation's going to be dangerous, but then it, it turns dangerous and it, it, you know, at a moment's notice. Vested interest in canines also provides canine Narcan kits, first aid kits, and other equipment for canine officers to ensure they can do their jobs safely. Everything they provide is donated to the canine officers through grants and donations. Now, one local canine officer is now equipped with one of those ballistic vests from vested interest. KTIV's Katie Koppel takes us to Plymouth County and introduces us to Zeke. Um, I'm a canine handler, so um, I train and handle my uh, canine partner, Zeke who's a three-year-old Belgian Malinois. At the Plymouth County Sheriff's Office, canine officer Zeke is the star employee. They're part of the team. Uh, they're generally everybody's favorite part of the team. A few months ago, Zeke received a new piece of equipment, a bulletproof vest. The body armor for a canine is an important piece of equipment. Um, if we have a situation where we know there's going to be a high risk of the dog being injured, um, that vest can be placed on the dog. and. Uh, we have a lot of time and money invested into our canine program, and it just helps protect our assets. This vest was donated by Vested Interest in Canines, a national nonprofit dedicated to protecting canine officers nationwide. So this is probably the most modern piece of body armor we've had for a canine, which does allow the dog to move and perform better with his duties. Much like officers wear body armor, canine officers need the added protection too. As you can see, we wear body armor every single day and we want to protect our dog as well. Um, we don't want to put him in a situation that could harm or hurt him, but if we end up having to put him in a situation um, that is dangerous, we want to be able to protect him with the body armor. The canine itself will probably be the first in the door or into a dangerous situation with an apprehension. So it's important to protect them and these vests provide defense with guns, uh, knives and other sharp objects. Canine Zeke is the department's only working canine and his partnership with Deputy Peterson is essential. As a sheriff, it's nice having a canine. We have a, a big county. We're the fourth largest in the state of Iowa. And for our deputies, it's nice to have that partnership and backup um, when your closest deputy backup might be 25 miles away. In Plymouth County, Iowa, Katie Koppel, KTIV News 4. Now, Zeke received his vest about five months ago. The department also has a second canine officer who's currently in training. Each vest is roughly $1,000 and it lasts for about five years. Zeke isn't the only local canine officer to receive a vest from vested interest. So as canine officer Ivan with the Buena Vista County Sheriff's Office and seven canine officers with the Iowa State Patrol. Also, canines Tank and Ranger with the Dixon County, Nebraska Sheriff's Office. They have those vests. And 10 canine officers with the Nebraska State Patrol. All have received donated body armor from vested interest to keep them safe on the job. Now, for more on vested interest and how you can help in their mission, you can visit the story at KTIV.com.